Hi. Tim Van Devender here. I'm going to talk really quick about a step that I had to do. Uh, I'm not sure. It's unclear in the manual whether I needed to do this or not. The manual, uh, it gives you very clear instructions about the MP3 player, which is on the back of the speedometer board, and there's a slot for the USB thumb drive or a slot for a micro SD card. Uh, this particular speedometer board did not have either. Uh, he calls it the MPH board, it's a uh, speedometer board. Um, anyway, the, the instructions uh, are very nice. They lay out the file structure. Uh, there's, a, there's a directory 01. Inside of that is about 15, 20 files. Uh, each file has a very specific name that the MP3 player reads for certain events, like the countdown tones. Um, power up sequence, power down sequence, uh, entering into pursuit mode, uh, if you're low on fuel, stuff like that. Um, so the files have a very specific file name and file structure. Uh, it, the way the manual reads, it implies that the card is in there and that those files are already present. Uh, in my case, there was no card and there was no thumb drive, so I don't know if it was supposed to be there and it was removed by customs or uh, I'm not sure. Um, in my case, it was not there, so I used a spare SD card that I have uh, laying around and I went to his website, zaelectronica.com, two T's, and downloaded uh, there's a download area on the website downloaded the US version of the files put them from the zip file straight on to the SD card the SD card goes in the slot and now it's working um, the other reason I mentioning is the manual does not specifically say you need to provide an SD card or download any files to it uh, to prepare it and install it on the board uh, it, it seems to imply that the card's already there so this is something I had to do that's not documented I wanted to, uh, to mention it here and then show you the new startup sequence okay power's on running 18.5 13.8 volts <clears throat> this is my simulated power button uh, some power is applied the LEDs on the back of the boards white LEDs are lit just show you the original dash cluster. The power button lights up. If I had soldered this in already, I'd push that. Hello, welcome aboard. Pretty cool. And now the power down. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I'm quite pleased that it's working.